Hello, I'm Don Gay, back with another edition of my favorite crashes from last season at Mesquite Championship Rodeo. Professional rodeo is a sport of inches, an inch one way and you make a good score and maybe get a paycheck. An inch the other way and you're upside down on the dirt with 2,000 pounds of bad news in hot pursuit. The last season at Mesquite produced a lot of thrills and more than a few spills. We'll start with bull riding and Tommy Trot on a bull named Dirty Dingus McGee. Coming up next is Tommy, Tommy Trot, excuse me, Donnie. He's on Dirty Dingus McGee. All right, another one of those younger bulls. He wants to play rodeo. Tommy's a good bull rider. Oh, my! Look at, oh, he's knocked out. He's knocked out. Barry Hankin sees it. Anthony Moore taking the other way. Look at, look at Anthony Bull by the horns. John Patterson moving his horse right in harm's way. Going to try to get a rope on him. Oh, he missed the loop. Look at the bullfighter taking him down the other way. John Patterson can rebuild that rope if he doesn't come to. Oh, my. Tommy's still out. He has not come back to yet. He gets slammed See another up. little shot of this. Watch this bull trip. Head, boom. Oh, man. He's not completely out. Thank you one more look. You want to be a bull? Mama, don't let your babies grow up with your cowboys. Now check this out, Anthony Moore. That's what you get paid for. Let them get you instead of the cowboys. Goodness. Another little shot of this. Get you all you want. 1,800 pounds slam dunk. They just think Richard Dent can hit you. <laughs> Done about everything else, and he's not 20 years old yet. Hey, Brandy Colvin, sundowner. Uh oh, starts right and then starts back left. Stay in the middle, Brandy on the other rope slip. He's rope. He's hung. He's hung up, rope shipped all the way down. Well, when you've done about everything else, that just kind of adds to it in a hurry. Well, he took a pretty good shot in the rib cage. Didn't really mess up his hat. He got there messed up. All right. <laughs> no score for Brandy Colvin. Now, I used to buck this kid on the bucking barrel out there at the ranch of Terrell when his dad used to work. His dad, Stump Dotson. Good friend of mine, Brandy's rope. See his rope slipping, his hand's still hung. And that comes loose, getting a good shot in the rib cage. Keeps moving, Jimmy Anderson, bullfighter's there, making a, making a good save. This yeah. shot that he takes, Don, he kind of gets his hand out of trouble here at the end, twists him around the right, the right direction anyway. Gets him loose, see Jimmy Anderson move that bull away. Louisiana Cowboy, this is a good little bull right here. I really like this bull. I think he'll go to the national finals in a year or two. Round to the left. Oh yeah, come yeah. on, Cowboy. Oh no, he's got a, he's coming back in the well, hung up. This little bull will get you too now. He likes playing rodeo, he's Man. hung hard. Anthony Moore, Barry Hankins moving in. Taking a pounding. Everything's gonna work. Wow. He is lucky to be up and walking out of there, Donnie. No score for Steve Mitchell, and he had him a good solid seat for a oh, few he seconds. Really he really did, really starting a good ride. Starts around right. Good move back to the left. Now move your feet. Move your feet. He just moved his feet. He tried to hold. Now, good presence. Got his free hand around that hawk bull's neck, trying to get his feet. Does so, hand comes out of there. See Anthony Moore, Barry Hankins. They can't get to the rope inside the spin. We'll take another look at it. Now, the bullfighters are wanting to step inside where they're standing. Anthony nearly made it in. Now his hand's going to come loose, and Anthony's going to be right there to get that bull's attention. He's drawing Abdullah. Now, Eric, his best score previously was a 76. This guy can ride. He's just had his problems, not been able to put it all together. Says, let's go. Abdullah should turn back left. He's down. Oh, oh boy, Eric, get up. Oh, Jeez. my. He's hurt. He just can't get up. I mean, that's what I'm he's surprised he got up. Can't get up. <laughs> oh, Eric. Donnie, when they opened that gate, it almost looked like Eric the rear end got out of position. Just well, like I mean, he, he, there's something wrong with his shoulder. He's been kind of fooling with that shoulder for about a year now. He, Watch him just bend down. He just kind of yeah. gives it up. Ooh. See, he got hit right in the jaw with that horn. Now he's hit. I mean, he's just addled, and Abdullah just eating him up. Gosh, almost Jimmy stepped Anderson, on his head. Jimmy Anderson, are really trying to do some good, but boy, oh boy, you got to help. Now, see, he just puts his head, bop. I mean, that was a Mike Tyson left. Boom. Larry Holmes down the middle. Oh, Bone boy. crusher. 
Now that bull stepped on his hat as he came around there. Wow. We're looking at Jed Ward from Newton, Kansas, and he's on Himalaya. This boy rides pretty good. I've seen him ride for a little over a year now, but Himalaya is a handful. We saw him buck off Joe Wimberly. Left turn right in the gate. That a boy, Jed, going down in the well. That's a bad place to be with this sucker. Oh, Jed, man. you better not quit, Jed. You're not out of the woods yet. Like stepped on his shoulder. Could be a dislocation. And those guys oh, aren't man. scared. They're just getting up there where they can see better. Our Justin Healers coming in there going, okay, boys had this before and it's just dislocated. Don't be putting a neck brace on me. Well, you can tell he is hurting, Ronnie, but it could have been much, much worse. Let's watch this again. Down in. Now, he can't hardly get up. Whoa. The bullfighters move in. Good job. We got another look at this right here. Now, watch him go down now. I think his shoulders hurt about right, right there. Right there, I was going to say, yeah. It, it, could, he, it just stunned him. He couldn't hardly get up. Now, don't you look at this bull, 16, 1800 pounds. Michael Rabelais. There we go. He's on rough and tough. Thanks, Dan. If I could ever get him to tuck his chin down, this guy could be an NFR bull rider. And that's why you want to tuck. Oh, man, right in the back. Oh, he stepped on him hard. He's still not got his air back. Ooh. All the atmosphere, and you know you just can't get any of it. No score for Mike Rabelais. Good bull rider. Gonna hang out there, but he just doesn't tuck his chin down. He's sticking up in the air. Toes out, ready to go left. Too much centrifugal force to put it in there. And I mean, I'm talking about dead center in the small of your back. Knocked all the air out. Be lucky if it didn't get a couple of ribs. Got it. Well, George, big boy, second generation cowboy. Let's get him rode, George. Come on, stay in the middle. Come on, George. Come on, George. Get up there. Come on, George. Oh, he was trying. Oh, get up, George. Oh, gosh. Look at Anthony Moore. Taking the bull by the horns. Good job, bullfighters. George no says, sweat. yeah, okay, I'm okay. Just can't get nowhere. Red Pepper did a job on him. Boy, Donnie, when some of these guys get home and see how close they came on some of these replays. George, he got him a got him a hope. Round to the right now. He's fine until he slides back. See, he's lost his bull rope. His hand came out and then just crunched. Now watch the back feet. Oh, Boom. gosh. You keep moving. You keep trying. That's the only protection you got. We'll get one more look at it. Now, you need to reach down and get a hold with your spurs. See his hand pop out of there. Boom. Right there. Got the tail of the rope down in there. And then get your business horn in on. Red Pepper. So close. Gary Moreno, the next man up, and he has drawn Bobo. It's a nice little bull right here. He'll spin either way, jump and kick. He'll horn in on your business if you're not careful. Round to the right, whips his cowboy down. Yo. Now he's going to come back and try and get you. Man. You better get up. Look at those horns. Mm. No score for Gary. And he got tagged a couple of times, He's not Donnie. feeling very good from the looks of him hanging there on the fence. Let's see. Whipped him out of there, whipped him down. Ooh. Boom, bumped him right in the head with one of them horns. Looks like a George Brett baseball bat. Sure does. Let's get another little angle of this and see if we can see how hard he gets tagged. Whipped him out of there. Miss it right there. Been one of my bull riding students for three or four years, and he's had some problems, ups and downs, but he's beginning to ride good. The Rouge, right there to the left. Oh, yeah, good position. Yes. Stay tight. That a boy, Dwayne. Stay up on your roll. Get up there. He made it. <laughs> now get out of there. Good move. Oh, no, his spur hung in the flank rope. Oh, my. Oh, no. Oh, stepped on hard. Jeez. Jimmy Anderson reaches, unflanks the bull. Woo. Have you ever? Oh, he got stepped on, hit in the head. Dwayne, you're okay. You just don't know it. Oh, he is so lucky, Donnie Gay. Gee, let's see what kind of a score is, because the last second and a half, 73 points for Dwayne Cooper. He was sitting on the very back end of this On the ball. rumble seat. 
But now, this looks good right here. Now, reach up. Now, right here, Dwayne, reach with him spurs and get you another hold. He just kind of hangs in there. Now, watch. Comes out, and spurs hung in the flank. See that? Now, everybody's recognizing. Just sucked back in. Under. Look at Jimmy oh. Anderson. He's got the flank rope. He is trying to take it a loose. What a move. Everybody is just so lucky. One more look at this. Now, you talk about getting to play. Wouldn't it rename this bull the Yo-Yo? Watch this. Now, comes out spur. Right spur in the flank. It's hung. Now, watch this. Suck back and underneath. Whoa! Come back to baby. Watch him get stepped on right here on his head, right there. Just misses him. Jimmy Anderson, blow. look at him. He's got the flank strap. Got him loose. Oh, my. Pine Bluff, Arkansas, cowboy. Clayton, bear down. Now, this is a nice pull right here. Let's get one row. Hang in there. Going to circle back left. Now, he should make a right turn. Now, he's going to go left. Oh, Clayton, look oh. out. Oh, he's knocked out. He is knocked out. Boys, open the gate. Look at the bullfighter. See the blood? He hit him right in the side of the head, knocked oh. him out. Good job, Anthony Moore. Boys, the lights are on, but nobody's home. Let's uh, lower down a little bit. Well, on just instinct, you could see him trying to get up, trying to get up, but uh, really took a pretty good shot. Legs don't work near like you want them to. You see Dr. Evans, J. Pat, he's retiring this year. He was in such good shape, Tommy. Just let's go with his right foot, slide down, yeah. bang. Hit him right in the side of the head, and lucky he didn't step on his head right there. I mean, this could have been really serious. As it turns out, just a little love tap. A few stitches would be good as new. Now watch this, down, boom, knocked him out. Bull riding's tough, but so are the bull riders, and I'm sure Clayton shook it off and went right on to the next rodeo. Now speaking of tough, it's time for the guys in the baggy pants and the grease paint, the rodeo clowns. Now first, we'll see them go in harm's way in their protection role, and that's keeping a bull off a cowboy that's down. Then we'll watch some bull fighting, and that's done strictly for the entertainment of the crowd. In either role, I know you'll agree these guys earn their pay every time they go in the arena. Now this bull will get you. He is mean. He is looking for somebody to stick with one of those horns. See there, look at him hit the dummy. Now don't ride double, hang in, Larry. Ooh. Upside down, look out, Anthony Moore. Oh, oh, Anthony. look out. I'm telling you, that's why his friend didn't make it to the rodeo. <laughs> oh, my. You want to be a bull rider? Come on to Mesquite. Oh. Good effort right there. They're don't... going to give him a score, Donnie. It looked awfully close, but Larry did stay on for the eight seconds. <laughs> well, you don't get any extra points for, ri for riding double. OK, now. The bull kicks out there. Got zeroed in on the dummy. Now, you don't don't let him on there, Larry. He didn't pay an inch fee. Upside down now. Check this out. Round. He thought he got away. Texas Red said, <laughs> "Let me introduce you to fear." Okay. Larry says, "Get out of here, dummy. I'm riding this. I'm robbing this train, Jesse." Okay, there's flat. Get up and run. <laughs> Anthony Moore distracted the bull a little too well. San Antonio, Texas, where Jorge called home. Saddle bronc rider, bull rider. Let's see if he can stay tight on Alibaba. Uh oh, run back the bull rope. You better Man. move your feet now. Jimmy Anderson, Anthony Moore move in, distract a good little bull right there. Whoa, little, <laughs> little shot in the shorts. Anthony, that bull is quick. Jimmy, get more up than your rebox. No score for Jorge Rodriguez. Okay, good position right here. Starts around, just gets bucked off. He just a little bit behind, flings him out of there. Another little look. Watch this bullfight move right here. Mm. <laughs> Looks easy, doesn't it? And you're looking at. Texas, Texas Red. Red digging the grave for Jimmy Anderson. Whoa, Jimmy. Whoa, Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. 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 Woo. Look at Tim Rogers. Wahoo. He said, oh, I'd never touch him. <laughs> now, Jimmy, you're not as fast as you used to be. <laughs> he's, I, he's thinking about that. <laughs> he said, oh, boy. 
That <laughs> never touched me, he said. Knocked him right out of his hair, didn't he? I don't believe I've ever seen his real hair. <laughs> now, only Jimmy and the lady that does his laundry is gonna know how nervous he is right about there. Okay, he said, hey, folks, he's never touched you. That's just part of the deal. Oh, me, nerves are still. You can see him all curled up inside. <laughs> I mean, you know, now, now stop and think for a minute. You know, he's 50 plus years old, veteran. They're setting up a jump. We're going to see it. Uh oh, here he comes. Anthony Moore over the top. Oh, look out. Oh, my. Not as graceful as you'd like it to be, but don't let him get in the end of that barrel. Where there's not enough room for Daddy Frank in there, let alone that bull, too. Good jump by Anthony Moore. Oh, my. Keep waiting for the white flag to come out of the end of the barrel. You know, I surrender. <laughs> Let's take another look now. This takes a lot of nerve right here, and that nearly didn't oh, work out right. very good. That's right, and that bull almost was ready to take a shot. He's looking he, behind He looked back on the replay. All right, little little black bull wants to wants to. Get out there and chase you around. There's a right hand spin. Come on, out of boy. Good move. Oh, my. He's going to hang up. Oh, gosh. Look at the bullfight. Look. Oh, Barry Ooh. Hankins, great move. Now, that bull. He's upset. He wants to play real bad. Glenn says, if I'd have known he is that mean, he couldn't have shot me off there with a 30 30. <laughs> out of boy, Barry. You about to lose your britches. I had legs like that oh, for non-support. You know, if he gets tangled up there, oh, look! <laughs> the bull's saying, all right, you need to wash these, Barry. <laughs> you scared him pretty bad. See if they can't get Frank McElvain Sr. is waving the flag and gives up, surrender. He says, I've fallen and I can't get up. Well, it was no score, but it had lots of activity. Let's watch again. Now, pick your free hand up, hold it still. You'd have been all right. Good effort. Okay. Nearly makes it. Alibaba in the oh. 40s. Oh, nice move, Barry Hankin. Nice move, Anthony Moore. I mean, that was pretty good. Yeah, right this way. Yeah, yeah, come on, come on. Oh, oh. <laughs> Anthony. That left a little bit desired. It never hurts to be a little lucky. Now, you're supposed to get a push. Mm. Oh, <laughs> straight on. Oh, my. Get up out of there. Frank McElvain dialing 911. Anthony is going to get caught short. Isn't he? One of I these days, him. Ray Moser lays the barrel down. He's kind of hiding out and protecting himself. Daddy Frank says, oh, yeah, that's no problem. Come over here by me. Anthony keeps trying to set up a, a jump. Jerome Moser. Whoa, oh, I told you. I knew it. I mean, a matter of time. A matter of time. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, he better get up. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony Moore may have gotten tagged there, Donnie. Man, it was only a matter of time. He's been doing that week in and week out. Whoop. Well, and boom. Now, yeah, let's see if he doesn't I think he slipped. Oh, oh right, right, on, right on yeah. the end of the chin. Right on the end of the chin. Here comes the jump. <laughs> Up, oh. over, not quite. Jerome Moser for the save. That was a save, boy. You don't need.
need a very large scale for IQ test on a bullfighter. Good move. You see whenever they draw them out and then make that tight turn. Whoa! Oh holy smoke! There's flat! <laughs> oh, between you and I, I wish he'd quit doing that. Man, oh man. Never touch me. They don't print enough money to get me to do that, but it sure is fun to watch. Now, from bullfighting, we'll move now to the bareback riding. And as has become our custom on these tapes, let's open this bareback riding section with none other than our old friend, Robbie Vaccaro. This is a good horse right here. Now, spur out, first jump out of the chute. Uh-oh, left foot kind of popped out of there. Look at Robbie. Come on, Robbie, spur it. Maybe they didn't see it. Oh, no. oh, Holy oh. cow. 1994, Robbie and the Blowout Brothers. Wow. <laughs> what can I say? I mean, you asked for it. You deserve it. You get it. Now, he is making a good ride. All fun aside, right here, a hand pops out. Oh, You gosh. talk about a one-point landing on your W's. <laughs> oh, my. This is Chris Say. He's on full house, Donnie. Oh, my. Got a little weak on the spur out. Hard circle around the left. Now going to turn back. Come on, Chris. Chris, hang on. Hang on. Back. Oh, boy. Come on. Pick up, men. Look at, look at John Patterson. He's grabbing for him. Reach and get him, John. Oh, get him. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, gee. You talk about tired. Ooh. Now, he's going to be tired. <laughs> Boy, he gets a score of 62 points. I believe I inhaled for 30 seconds there on the waiting for the dismount. Okay, now he started pretty good. Slips back, spurs back. His left foot's not really helping him much. He's into his hand. Now, here's where the straining starts. Now, he wants to get up there. He knows the pickup men are coming. John Patterson saying, all right, let me, uh, well, no. Okay, now let's try this again. Reach over there. I mean, oh, well, to heck with it. Go ahead and take your fall. <laughs> <laughs> There's a good spot right there. Another look at it. John Patterson, he's a trying for it. Chris is just stuck. He's in a position there's no, no way to be able to recover. He's going, oh, no. Shoot five, Howard Langham on gun smoke. All right, now his best score has been a 67. Howard Langham, veteran cowboy. It's a veteran bucking horse. This horse been in the national final 12 times. Howard is having all kinds of trouble. Holy smoke, get your hand out. Oh, no. Man. Horse down. Oh, Howard, man. get back on him, Howard. <laughs> now, he can't get his hand out of there. That'll cost him a $100 fine if the judges think he was on there too tight, taking advantage of the horse. He better not go up there and talk to my daddy. I was going to say, I'd just <laughs> stay right there. For he's a all right. Long. The horse looked like he's all right. Howard said, well. No score after all that. Okay. Now, old gun smoke coming around saying, okay, I got this guy. Now, why doesn't he buck off? That's because his hand's welded in there. Her splat. Gosh. Howard really used some, some heads up play right there because his yeah. hand was not going to come out of that rig. And check it out again. Now, he just jerks the horse over on top of him. Now, his hand isn't going to come out, and he knows it, so he just vaults back up. You know he don't feel too good. Jason regroups. Here comes Hollywood Holder on Wild Cherry. There's a movie for you. Whoa! Oh. That was straight out of Hollywood, Let's wasn't it? Let's keep this on camera, guys. Woo! <laughs> With that name, you can't do anything else but be a cowboy or an actor. Well, he's got a... He's got a a leg up on being a stunt man. I mean, if you can take <laughs> falls like this, whoa, make it look part of the action. One more look at this. Mm. Heath Melanet getting set next. He's drawing a horse called Strawberry. Heath is from Huntsville, Texas. His horse kind of tough to get started with. He's got a good spur out. Oh, yeah. Get him back in the neck, that a boy. Oh, look out. Whoa. Oh, my, I wonder if he can get his 
hat off. He hit right on his head. See him holding the top of his head and his neck a little bit. A one point landing for Heath Malinak. I think he's, I, I, we'll watch the replay here, see if we can see it back, but I think he's worried about his neck. Now he's conscious, you can tell us, mm. just a mm. one point banging on the top. Reverse angle. Upside down. Boy, I mean, you can see it. Jammed his neck right down in there. Wes Griffin, the good cowboy, tuck your chin, spur him out. Left foot bounced a little bit. Come on, Wes, get a hold. Got him a new hat. Uh oh, go out. Oh, look out, duck. Wow. Oh, he wants his old hat back. <laughs> well, this hat didn't ride very good. It stayed on, but I didn't. I want you to watch this dismount again. That was a double flying two and a half with a half twist. Okay, did get him spurred out, but see him slide back off his rigging. He missed a little bit of a hope. Whip forward, hand comes out, boom. Now see the hoof? Look at the hoof. Oh, boy. <laughs> what another little look at this. Wes Griffin. Mississippi Queen. Woo Duck your head. Throw wow. that hat away. Chatter Roy Washington. A ways from Mesquite, Texas. Old Redbird, been to Los Rodeos. It's a good draw. Come on now, Brandon. That a boy good. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Whoa. Look out. Pop goes the weasel. A blowout. <laughs> Woo, no score. Goodness, this has been a rough rodeo so far. I would have took the 63, Brandon. Gee. Okay, now you watch this. Now, this cowboy's trying to run. See his horse jump kick? Watch this. Pow. Ooh. Redbird could have kicked him. He said, I'll let him off easy. He drove a long way from Washington. I mean, see that great spur in action? I mean, lucky he didn't get it in the lips. Wow. There's Mark Michael from Denton, Texas. He's drawn Homesteader. All right, one of those young horses, Mark Michael, been injured. Got a good start here, pretty good. Coming around left, this looks good. Come on, Mark. Oh, my, wow! wow. Holy Toledo! <laughs> Woo! You want to be a cowboy? Stick your hand in a bareback rigging. Safe, they say, now entertaining all of his good friends. Said, man, if he'd lit on your head, that'd really been funny. All right, now he's making a good ride right here. Body back, now watch this horse skip. Wow. Pretty good form, wouldn't you say? Naughty Comanich, Mark Michael. Got a little ring to it. Watch this. Oh, tuck your knees, chin tucked, up on your feet. A good finish. Stuck the landing. You're going to see Eric Swenson maybe ride Tylenol. That's what he's going to try to do here this evening. Now, Eric is 0 for 4. But see how he falls back on his arm. He's just not lifting. He's going to have trouble. But it's going to be wild. Holy wow. cow. That's why you take Tylenol. Ooh. Holy smoke, mama. He's up and walking. Seen fall back wow. on his arm. He's got to stop doing that. He's got to start lifting on the rigging. He's spurring. He's looking good, but <laughs> curse flat. Oh, Ka wham. Ka zap. Ka pow. The old Batman movie. Curse flat. Wow. My, this is Dale Falkenberry on Okanagan Red. All right, Marietta, Oklahoma cowboy. Nice horse right here. Another one of those Washington horses circling around to the right. Dale in a little bit of trouble. Yeah, no, he's rigging his slipped. He's hung. Oh, oh my. Oh, good. That gun boy, you hate to see. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. Jeez. This is awful. Christmas. Oh, my. This is one of those deals you don't like to see. Bareback riders coming down there going, boys, get the medics in here now. Oh, my. Dale Falkenberry got hung up on that horse, Donnie, and uh, slid underneath the horse. And there's no telling how many times he got stepped on. EMT, backboard, neck brace. They're just trying to, it's real hard to determine the extent of the injury. Now, you watch it back. I want you to watch his rigging. See, his rigging just slips over to the side. See it going all the way over? No way to get his hand out of the rigging right there. Now, he's hung. Now, in underneath. And there's no telling what kind of damage the hooves do right here. 
I mean, stepped right on him. You know, that's pretty graphic. You can see Jim Gay's trying to catch the horse and trying to hold him up. Got a hold of the bucking horse. Cowboy is, uh, needless to say, is hurt. Let's just see the rigging slide around. As you mentioned, Donnie, watch Jim riding in there trying to do everything he can. Has his horse literally. Well, he's trying to reach and get a hold. Yes. You can see he's trying to get a hold of the rig, and he sees he's not going to be able to pull that loose because it's tied off in his hand. You see how it's stuck in the rigging? There's just not any way. John is trying to keep from stepping on him, but now the bucking horse is doing the damage right there. But now they, they can see that the only thing, unless he comes loose, is just to stop the horse. Well, that was a serious wreck. Dale was hospitalized for several days, but did fully recover. And it was fortunate he wasn't hurt even more seriously. But next up, the classic event, the saddle bronc riding, where the wrecks are just as classic as some of the rides. We move on to Mike Godfrey from Arlington, Texas. 74 points, the score to beat. He is on bear tooth. Well, we saw Mike in the bull ride and didn't fare too well. Second event for this guy. He's got to be warmed up now. This is a good bronc ride here. Bear tooth. Jumping. Uh oh, Mike. Oh, my. That's called going on the dashboard. No score for Mike Godfrey. Been a rough night in the bull riding and in the saddle bronc riding. You see him pull back his elbow. He needs to stick his arm out forward. Woo ha! Jump and kick, hot mama. <laughs> As we look at Pick Burn, comes all the way from New Jersey to ride Lady Hawk. All right, now he's one of those Eastern Seaboard Circuit winners. Pick Burn. It looked a little yeah, soft at the gate. Pick oh my, and a little hard on the dismount. Wow. Horses in New Jersey might not be quite as tough as they are in Texas, but you never know. What's the mark out here? He misses him right here. I mean, he's, he made the attempt, but it just wasn't there. Stands him up and blasts him out of there. Pick Burn gets dusted in Texas. That's happened to more than one Eastern cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Doug Dugan down in shoot number four, getting set on the back of toll free. Now, this one right here, you might ought to want to pay a quarter to, to, to get to make the call, because this near don't care. Now, he's hard to ride. Duck, jump, Doug Dugan. Got him sloshing a little bit. Oh, look oh, out, Doug. Doug. Uh oh. Let me tell you, him and his resist all got squashed. Squashed or squashed. <laughs> No score. <laughs> well, they don't look the same anyway. Boy, I didn't know what I was wanting to say right there, but now good saddle bronc. Doogie baby. Oh, oh man. My. That Game might convince inches. him to go on a diet. You know, man, that's a lot of load pushing that hat brim through that dirt. <laughs> wow. <laughs> He's from Nacogdoches, Texas. He's riding Comstock Road. Okay, second generation cowboy. His daddy, Booger Bryant, used to make all my bull rope. Passed away. Lou Bryant, making a name for himself. He's a little tall oh, on the yeah, saddle. Watch Donnie. out, Lou. Get a hold. Oh, boy. That oh. concrete wall wouldn't move much either, Blue. You're lucky that you still got a decent hat on your head. <laughs> lucky you can still get that hat off his head. He's going to be close. Good spur out. Youngster hadn't ridden many Bronx. He's just starting out in the saddle Bronx. Riding rides bulls, good. It's close, about as close, close, close. As, <laughs> as you want to come, I'd say. That's when, you know, you want to sing that song, back in the saddle again. <laughs> Bruce Fink on Lots of Wampum. That's what he wants to win is Lots of Wampum. Now, come on, Bruce, get your spurs moving. Uh-oh, look Ooh, out. Watch it in the front gosh. row. That's when you don't want to be Bob Euchre. I wonder whose eyes were bigger, the Bronc Riders or that lady in the first row? You notice they peek over that railing kind of tentatively. <laughs> uh, you look, no, I'm not gonna look, you look. Let's take another look. Okay, now, toes in, that's not good. Not a good sign. Get some going right there. Now, sudden stop, oh, hmm. put on the brakes. Okay, this is a nice little young Let's horse right here. John Haygood, isn't this horse pretty? Look here, now watch your buck. Head down, quick snap. Come on, Johnny. Ooh. Nearly a good bronc ride. Oh, looking glass is serious about this, isn't she? Just cute little mare, really wants to do good. 
No score for John Haygood. Let's see what happened. Raining bronc riders in Texas as we watch this back. Now see her put her head way down. Take the measurement on that rain. Give her a little bit more rain where you don't have to strain. That's when you get sing that song. He's tall in the saddle again. Because he didn't That's get back to it. Verse. That's a new version. <laughs> We're going to start off with Jim Blaine Kenny, and he is on a good horse, Try Me. Bucking horse of the year, 14-year-old Bronc, Try Me. Little rare out. Now watch her come to the right. Oh, he's not going to make it to the right turn. She was fixing to get bad, but she put Jim Blaine Kenny, I mean, a West Texas Bronc buster that uh, doesn't like hitting that ground very hard. But you see his hat? That hurt, boys. I was surprised he's able to get it off because it was a one-point landing on him. Good spur out. Whips him over, boom, right on his head. Woo! Wow. You think this event is easy? <laughs> Take another look. Doug Dugan trying to add to his bankroll here this evening. Now he's up in the saddle bronc riding on Try Me. This horse was the bucking horse of the year in 1984. Doug Dugan knows her well. She's bucked him off before. Let's see what happens coming around. Come on, Dugan, get your feet ahead. He's in trouble. Lost Ooh. that right stirrup, and I mean back slammed him hard. Boy. Glad he got the money in the steer wrestling. Hey, Donnie, that left foot hung just long enough to make that worse. Mm. Hit hard. Now, Dugan was thinking more about how rank this mare is instead of riding because he could have moved his feet forward a little bit more. But now he's cannel back. He lost that right stirrup, and that left one just oh. hangs, and I mean don't nothing touch till his back hit. He's drawn Mr. Ed. Now, Mike Coon, he's been a study. Broke his leg wow. a couple of times. Hard, wild jump out of the bucket and shoot. Been riding good. See him, he's starting to reach. He, oh, horse nearly <laughs> falls down. Wild horse oh. spin. Out of boy, Mike. You rode him plumb to the ground. <laughs> yeah. I'm a wild horse rider. Woo. Mr. Ed. <laughs> <laughs> What a horse, of course, uh, me. of course. No score for Mike Coon, wow. All right, spur out, a little low on the left side. Stumble, you see the flag. Now reach out there. Mike is trying to ride bucking horses. Now this horse is just throwing a fit. Says, get off of me, Michael. One more look at this. Don't think this won't spruce up your Saturday night attitude. Wow. It's got to make the drive home seem pretty tame, I would think. We're looking now at Wade Hebb from Kaufman, Texas. The horse is called Rock and Roll. Two times he's been to the pay window already, the 92 Mesquite season champion. This horse, a young horse now. I've seen him in the bareback riding. He's kind of hard to ride. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Pile driver. Wow. No score, and you don't see that often for Wade Hebb. Not good, you see him wearing that low back brace. Good spur out. Now, this horse rock and roll, named aptly. See him turn, change direction, twist and roll. Hard to ride in a bronc riding, and hard on you to resist all, especially when your head's in it. <laughs> One more look at this. So, bronc riding's supposed to be easy, oh, smooth. <laughs> Ouch. Okay. Next up, last season, steer wrestling miscues. Now, personally, I've always thought steer wrestling has the potential for a lot of mishaps anyhow. Think about it. Two cowboys on horseback running full speed down the arena. A steer in between them. One cowboy jumps off his horse and grabs the steer to wrestle him down to the ground. Now, that is a recipe for trouble. Now, just watch. Bob Crittenden, Waxahachie, Texas. I mean, you know, wouldn't it be terrible for a little old bull rider to end the dog and win first? Whoa! Oh, hang Bob. on, hang on. Whoa. The W is, whoa! <laughs> now, Bob, are we having fun yet? Help, I've fallen and I can't get up. <laughs> but I will. Walks a hatchy, Texas. Now, don't think the guys in Waxahachie, Texas aren't gonna give Bob Crittenden a bad time about falling off his horse in Mesquite. Oh my, 
Getting set for Kenny Rosser. His best time here this season has been a nine and two. Okay, getting a little help from Byron Walker, who lives right over there, not too far from him. Just south of Kaufman, Texas. Uh oh, a long run. Oh, Whoa. my! <laughs> Watch out, the train's coming. <laughs> and it's got horns on it. All right. No not, time. Not gonna honk for you to get out of the way. You just have to kind of look out and duck. He was stretched out there a long way too, Donnie. See him have to hold his horse. He started too early, tried to hold up. That messes up that all important start, slides over. Steer looked like, you know, running, running a set of the low hurdles. Lee Spencer looks like he's ready to go, doesn't he, Donnie, from Crandall, Texas. Either that or what he ate for lunch didn't agree with him. Holy <laughs> smoke. Come on, Lee, get a smile on your face. Win some dough. Oh, no. <laughs> now he's smiling. I think that was more of a, a grimace. grimace. <laughs> <laughs> it's tough when you go to get up and you don't know which leg to limp on. I've been there. Okay. All right. Now, he started down way too late. That's why his hat looks like that. But you'll save your ankles. Robert Martin from Justin, Texas. All right. Now, he's best time been a 21.2. That's not going to win you any money. Get her down there in that five-second range. Come on now. Oh, Robert. Whoa. That sure won't win any money. That just cost you a laundry bill. Steer said, well, where'd he go? <laughs> no time for Robert Martin. Let's watch this back. Steer says, okay, I know the guy's coming. Yeah, I feel him. No, no. Where'd he go? Ouch. Boy. Dust off them rankers. Carl Hicks is up next, Winsboro, Texas. Broke out of their heart. Good looking paint, Art. He was just behind there when he, he got was, off. He was late, but I, I thought he knew something we didn't. <laughs> Need one of those Jado bottles strapped on his back. Old paint looks good, but easy. See that horse widen way out to the left? No chance. Well, the rest of the guys have to beat five at five. That seems to be the time here this evening. Clint Lechner from Dayton, Texas. Get that horse standing square. Says, let's go. Hard running steer. Really broke out of there. Started down late. Sat just a little. Boy. That was a wreck. A crash. This steer said, ha ha. Clint hit the ground hard. No time. Well, he looks okay, like steer watch wrestler, steer going, he? Okay, here he comes. Er I, I got him. <laughs> this is Brent Arnold from Coleman, Texas. All right, B.A. High school football coach, Coleman, Texas. Inside horn gets away. He had a fan on the front row over there. Did you notice that? Well, you know, his students will talk to him about that technique. He probably hollers at his football team about now watch him get tipped forward and to the inside. Mm. Forward, inside, lose the inside horn. That's not how you do it. Ron Hawkins is up next. He's out of Buda, Texas. You know, I've got the correct, correct pronunciation. That's Buda. Is that right? Yeah, Buda, Texas, what they call that. In their spare time, Ron Hawkins. Boy, howdy. <laughs> this steer is going, I got to duck out from under this guy. Oh, wow. Hey. The Titanic. Marty Burleson is up next. He's from Fort Worth, Texas. All right, got that serious look on his face like I'm going to get the honey. Okay, hard running steer down there. Oh. That was almost a little mile, no hands. You know, he slid quite a ways there. Yeah, I'm not get another angle here. Our cameraman doing some good work now. Don't lean forward. Steer ducks his head. Oh, he acted like that didn't feel all that good. <laughs> Byron Walker says he's ready to go. Look at that shirt. Byron. That's in his designer material right there. Byron Walker, world champion. Steer cut inside tough. Landing. 
All he came up was two yes, handfuls of dirt. Supposed to have the steer. I thought that steer was going to get right in underneath. Yeah, that, that oh. was uh, funny as it ended, but uh, serious right here. Steer cuts in front of old Gray. Just kind of tips him up and then widens out. Byron Walker, the champ, comes up empty. We look at big Charlie Bailey from Waxahachie, Texas. He's placed here once with a 7.6. That'll put him in third again. Oh, Hazer bumped him. Put him. That's a, that's a hula hand. That's not a throw. He just says, I'm not going to do that again. Like broke both arms. That steer just turned to flip Woo. on him. Got a little top heavy. You can see why. Boy, that's worth another look at least. Okay. Let's see. He looks quick on the barrier. I think he got there a little bit soon. You still see the barrier. And he just. Kind of a wild catch. Now, this is called a hooli hand. Mm. Steer turns a flip. Cowboy comes out of this actually in pretty good shape because say. it's kind of dangerous. I think, okay. No, he says, I don't believe I want any more of that. Like I said, a recipe for disaster. Those steer wrestlers, they had a tough season here at Mesquite last year. Now let's close our tape as we do the rodeo at Mesquite with another section of bull riders. T-Bone Sanders from Austin, Texas. He's on depth charge. All right, now he's got his patriotic shirt on. He's ready to go. Depth charge. Whoa, my! Jerked out of there like a penny piece of bubble gum. Ho -ho. Boy, he put the hurt on that arm, on that move. Wow. Well, I think it might be his ribs. I think he, you know, he jerked him so hard and might have pulled some ribs apart. <laughs> Golly. Bob Blackwood walks over and says, you all right, kid? <laughs> Get tough. Ain't no sissies in the rodeo business. Mm. Jimmy Anderson, you better be careful. Hanging from the rooftop. Let's watch this back. Now watch his feet. Has a hole right there. Boom, jerked him all the way down. I mean, that is kersplat. Mm. <laughs> One more look at it. Just let her roll, boys. Earl Griffith, the next man up. He's from Dallas, Texas on double vision. This can be good. Earl Griffith. Round to the right. Oh, yeah. Come on, Earl the Pearl. He's doing good. Oh, going down. Oh, he's hit. No. He's hit in the. Oh, he hit him right in the jaw. He could be. He's out on his feet. Out on his feet. On. No score, score for Earl. And he had one going there, Donnie. I mean, really it's did. where the lights are on. Nobody's home right here. I mean, he's still not all the way with us. They're, they're going, okay, guys, let's take a look at him here. Got some teeth knocked out, broke jaw. Good bull ride started right here. Now he gets too far. Boom. Mm, mm, oh, he mm, could have broken his jaw. That was a good, solid shot by Double Vision. Is that aptly named or what? Wow. Get it, Double Vision? <laughs> Earl got it. Okay. Now watch this. Another angle. Boom. Right there. Oh. Oh, see, he, he's knocked out. That's just reflex trying to get him up. From Azel, Texas, this is Mike Goforth on Big Jake. All right. Now, he's been 75 points here this year. He can take that right now and get him a check. All right, let's see here. Big Jake gonna turn back to the left. Oh, Mike! Oh, get up! Oh no! Look, oh man! Goodness! Oh, he stepped on him. Jimmy Anderson gets nailed. Out. Boy, you can see on the back of his shirt, Donnie. He got stepped on, kicked. Okay, sitting up straight, gets back, pops out, just lands where you can't get up. Now, this bull has him. Nothing anybody can do. I mean, this is where you just look at Jimmy Anderson grabbing this bull by the tail, trying to get him to look at him. It's another angle. I mean, he is just getting mauled. Jimmy Anderson trying to pull that, literally pull the bull off of him. Now, watch Jimmy. He gets it in the alley back there. We move on to Clint Berger, and he is on Golden Nugget. Okay, now, not done as well as he wants. This cowboy, his father raises bucking bulls. He rides a lot down in the well. He's going to be hung in the bull rope. Jimmy Anderson trying to get right there. Look at Anderson. He's got the moves. He got stepped on. You can see him holding his back right there. Now, this bull, 
He still wants some more. He can't get up. Cowboy says, boys, get me out of here, because this could be worse. Boy. That doesn't look good, Donnie Gay. It's like he got stepped on in the back. Look at this bull. All right, Jimmy. Taking the bull by the horns. Golden nugget. Okay, let's get another look at it. See if we can see. I didn't see him get stepped on, but it was obvious he did. Now, hung in a bull rope, keeping his feet. Now, hand is gonna come out, gets picked up. Donnie, I think he just got hit by that bull's head when his just, back was just twisted. Just those little old nub horns just punched him in the back as he gets knocked away from him. Okay, let's see. Right. And he's twisted here, right there. There. Right Ouch. there. Ouch. Man. I'm telling you, that had to hurt. Great shot of the hand there of Bo Boren from Belton, Texas. The bull is Mr. Cooper. All right, he said, let's go, boys. This is a quick little black bull turn to the left. Bo slid off the back. Wow. He could be hung. Jimmy Anderson knew it. He tried. Oh, my. Good job, Bo Boren. Stayed on his feet. Yes. Good presence of mind right there. He got that tail of that rope. That's what you do. Try and take care of yourself. No yeah. score. Talking to Frank Michael Vane said, I thought I was going to wind up in your barrel on purpose. Now, Jimmy saw it, made a grab for it, and little bull cuts away. But you see him keep his feet, got kicked right in the back. I mean, there was nothing fun about this little run at all. We get another little look at this. But now, he slid back, and he knows he's going to hang. Jimmy saw it, tries to go in. Trips and falls, but good presence of mind from Bo Boren. Kane, he's kind of a new breed, college cowboy. Earring, that won't last long. <laughs> Hang in there, got a good one started. Good effort right there. Stay Coming there. left again, going Kane, oh no. Hung oh, in the bull rope. man, goodness gracious. Got him a little top knot up there. Dakota said he's not riding me. Oh. Okay. Stepped on a little bit. Dwayne Cooper trying to help him said, boys, let's get over here. This guy can't get any air. Boy, Donnie, if Dakota didn't step right on him, he stepped all around him. He Gets did a pumped. good job on this he bull. He started, you know, I saw this boy last year, rookie season, didn't have the earring and the, and the ponytail. Ooh, Stepped he did on get him pretty good on. right he there. He sure did. We usually say something funny like, well, he might have got into his hair right there. That ponytail <laughs> drug him off. But, Good kid, mm. just got to learn the ins and outs, and if you're going to be a bull rider, you're going to take some of those. Dennis Love has drawn Doughboy. All right, now this is a nice little bull. He'll jump kick out there and turn back. Get your feet in him, Dennis. Oh, no. Mm. There's flat. He didn't think he was so nice right then. He hit him, knocked all the air out of him. Most people in the front row said, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Says he's okay, just needs a little air. Believe that, Doughboy tagged him pretty good. All right, let's see. Coming around. Mm. Ouch. Boy. Look, Look at, at Jimmy you. Anderson. <laughs> I mean, Boy. is he smooth or what? <laughs> he's just right there. He can get into his left foot's out of there. He turned that bull back to try and help that cowboy win. <laughs> Coy Allen going to start things off on dire straits. All right, long way away, Clarksville, Texas. This cowboy been injured off and on this year. Let's see what happens. Look at here. Oh, wow. wow. Whacked him with a horn. Bucked him off. Ooh. Yahoo. Buckaroo. <laughs> I mean. He really got tagged. He slammed him. Watch this. Ooh. Whack. Mm. I mean, gonna add insult to injury. You see the Cowboys coming back. Get another look at this. You wanna be a bull rider? I'm telling you. Getting jerked on, keep your chin tucked, stay up on your ropes, and then make the best ride you can. That's bull riding. You said it all, Sparky. Okay, round to the left, sundowner. Now he's back right. Out of boy, get your outside foot going. In trouble and down, whacked in the back. Out. 
I'm don't, not know sure where, he, don't know where to grab. I was just going to say, I don't know which part hurts more, but he's just rubbing his back there. He got tagged pretty hard in the back. Sparky Smith down early for no score. That's too bad. Now watch it back here. And he makes the left turn perfect. Shoulder square looks good. Now to the right, spur with your feet. Move your feet. He tried to just clutch and uh, splat. Boy, that was a good shot to the back. We're looking at Chad Williams on Damien. This is a mean little bull right here. Chad rope slip. He's in trouble. He's hung. Oh. Oh, <laughs> oh my. Knocked him out. Gosh. Kicked him right in the back of the head. Jeez. Bull fighter said, oh, come here, bull. He can't get up. He, he, he's awake, looks like. John Patterson got the rope. Cowboy said, now, now, Cowboy, if you can't, Chad, if you can't get up, we're going to leave you here. John Patterson misses one rope. Trying to get a rope on him until they get the Cowboy out of the middle of the ring. Look at the clown. There's a the rope. They got him. Behind Frank's barrel is not the optimum place to be during the bull ride. Mm. Boy, the crowd pays off Chad Williams. He's still not making all the connections there. He just aren't moving. Taking a step about every 30 feet. Now, just whipped him over, rope slide, now he's hung. Now, see, he's not making an effort to get on his feet. There it was, and boom, he just clipped him right on the back of the head. Just one more look at it. Now, when you hit the ground, pull up, get on your feet. Just, just clipped him, boy. Okay. Well, that's gonna wrap up another edition of my worst wrecks at Mesquite Rodeo, and I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to keep watching Mesquite Championship Rodeo, and if you enjoyed this tape, I wanna remind you, I've got a 1994 Best Rides at Mesquite Rodeo video available. Order Don Gay's 1994 Best Rides at Mesquite Rodeo now. It has almost one full hour of rodeo excitement. Send a check or money order for $29.95 plus $3 shipping and handling for each cassette to Mesquite Rodeo Tapes, 1818 Rodeo Drive, Mesquite, Texas 75149. Or call 1-800-331-1000 for Visa or MasterCard orders. Please specify 1994 Best Rides. Sorry, no CODs. And I also have other rodeo videos you might enjoy. Dan will tell you how to order a list of the available tapes next. Well, that's it for now. And remember, if you're ever in Mesquite, come out and see the rodeo in person. You'll have a great time, I guarantee. And happy trails, my friends. If you enjoyed this tape and would like to see more exciting rodeo action, write to Rodeo Tapes, Post Office Box 148-400, Nashville, Tennessee, 37214. And close a self-addressed stamped envelope and we'll send you a list of all the available rodeo highlight tapes Don Gay has assembled over the years. Now, these videos are full of the thrills and spills that make professional rodeo one of the most popular sports on television. Order one today and please remember to enclose a self-addressed stamped envelope.